Hey, Phil Mutri here, and today I want to show you how to basically put a header graphic into your blog, external blog, so that you can redirect traffic back to your fan page on Facebook so you can further market to your, to your audience or your visitors that come to your blog. In this case, what I'm using today is Snagit 10.0. And as you can see here, I've created a graphic. Basically what I've done is I've just gone to Google, uh, Google search engine, and I've, I did a search for arrows and come across and I just come across arrows and you just snag it, uh, snag at them. And then I snagged a, uh, a Facebook icon. And then here, basically I've just added the text and I've created the graphic. And to put this black border around it, all I've done is I've gone to image, I've gone to border, and then I've selected black um, for the border. Um, in this case, I made it a little thicker on four pixels. So that's all you really do to create the graphic, and then you save it. From there, you want to FTP it up into your hosting. Now, where I did is I, I created a directory called pictures, and I uploaded it into that directory within my blog buildmutree.com. So from there, what you need to do is you need to create your code. So to create your code, you're going to need your Facebook fan page address, which if you log into your Facebook profile and you click onto your page, it's going to take you to the admin panel and the address that's in the address bar is the, is the address, the URL that you want. So from there, let's just open up uh, Let's just open up um, Word doc, uh, paste that in here. I created the code here earlier. Um, let's just expand it here a little bit, uh, a little bit larger. So what I've done here is I've used the paragraph code, which uh, you'll you'll want to use here, and then I've centered it. So you want to use the left hand arrow and then P is in Paul and then right hand arrow uh, another another left hand arrow and then center and then the right hand and then you want a hyperlink which is A H R E F you're gonna put A as an apple and then space H R E F equals and then in quotes you're going to want to paste in your Facebook fan page then have another quote and then do a space and then put target equals and then in quotes, underscore blank, because we don't want to redirect traffic off our blog. We want to open it up in a new page. So you want to put the uh, target equals, underscore blank, in the quotes. Then we're going to want to put the image source. So then we have a, uh, we have a, we have a left-hand bracket. And then we have IMG, which stands for image. And you're going to put a space and then SRC, which is source equals and then in quotes again the URL of the picture that you uploaded. In this case I uploaded it to filmutree.com forward slash pictures and named it Facebook page.png. Then you want to close off because you hyperlinked up here with the A H R E F. You want to close it off with the slash A command. And then because you centered it, you want to close off with slash center. And then because you put the paragraph code in there, you want to end it with slash P. From there, that's the code that you need. I'm going to uh, decrease that back down to 11. Um, then you want to highlight it all. And you want to right click and select copy. Okay. From here, we're going to go to our external blog. And when you're into the external blog, you're going to want to go into the editor. And once you're in the editor, what you want to look for is you want to look for the header, the header.php. So we're going to click on the header.php and you're going to see a whole lot of code. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom and we're going to see um, the, the slash div code here. And I'm going to want to put it uh, just to see what it looks like. Um, uh, let's put it on. Let's put it after. We'll see what it looks like. And then once you put your code in there, just click update. Actually, I'm going to show you what it looks like without. 
So let's just visit the site in a new in a new window. And this is what it looks like so far. And my my end result, what I want to do is I want to put this graphic right up here over top of ready to quit your online business. And that's where I want it to be. So let's go back here and let's update the file. And it's going to say file edited successfully. Let's go back here and just do a refresh. So now we've got our header graphic in here, but I don't like where it's positioned because there's not really an ample space between the graphic and ready to quit your online business for that post. So I did that really on purpose because it's actually outside of the slash div. I just basically wanted to show you that so that in case you needed to reposition it, this would be how you do it. So let's go back into the editor and we'll select that whole code that we had for the for the banner. And I'm just going to right click on it and go cut. And then I'm going to bring it up over top of the forward slash div. We're going to update the file. Now that it's updated, we can come back here and let's do another refresh. Now what's happened is it's come up to under the home and about and click here to visit my Facebook page and it has enough space under underneath in between the the uh, the ready to quit your online business and the banner so now when we click on this banner what it should do because we we had a target open up into a new page when I click this it should open up to my fan page plus it'll still keep us on the blog it's just gonna open up into a new page so let's click on that as you can see it opened up in a new page we still have our blog here and if we click here, we have it opened up to our to our fan page. So I hope this video gave you great value today. Uh, definitely leave your comments below. Uh, feel free to visit my blog at filmutree.com, where you will have a chance to be able to click on uh, the banner to be able to visit my fan page on Facebook, where you can get unlimited unlimited tips and tricks and strategies for your online business and you'll be able to see actually more of what I do of my online business and becoming part of my fan page so taking part in it so I hope this again I hope this video gave you great value today and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow thank you